If you think the mega project Neom blew your mind, wait till you hear eight entirely new projects in Neom recently announced. All eight projects combined, these will create the Gulf of Aqaba, a new location within Neom that will have a variety of upscale travel, leisure, and outdoor experiences to offer. This is Luxury Prima, Leja. Leja is an upscale, luxurious vacation spot that was first revealed in October of last year. It it is situated in a mountainous area along the Gulf of Aqaba's coastline. It is also near other prominent Neon areas like Trohenna and the Line, which are around 50 kilometers to the east and south respectively. A 400-meter tall mountain range encircles the incredibly narrow and winding valley where three opulent boutique hotels will be located. The Adventure Hotel is the first lodging facility you'll come upon as you head further in a building that actually traces the mountains it is surrounded by in a serpentine manner. It will mostly center on outdoor pursuits like horseback riding, mountain biking, and rock climbing. According to reports, there will be a 70-kilometer track that leads inward, allowing visitors to hike all the way to Chuhenna, Neom's outdoor skiing resort. The second hotel is named the Oasis and is located further down the Twisting Valley, a geometric construction that appears to have been carved directly out of the mountain. The Wellness Hotel is Lage's third hotel to sum up. The pools at the top have a wonderful appearance, resembling a little version of the line. These three hotels have one thing in common. They all aim to blend seamlessly with the surrounding landscape. The mountains are encircled by the Adventure Hotel. The rocks are skillfully cut to create oases. The developers of Lage claim that these are all efforts to maintain the area's natural characteristics, a tasteful fusion of architecture and environment. However, building in this climate will be challenging, and transporting all of that equipment and material to these locations is a challenging endeavor. As of right now, Leja is scheduled to open in 2028 and will be run by the global hospitality management company, Our Habitas. Epicon, we travel northward by more than 30 kilometers as we reach Epicon. This area, which was made public precisely one month after Leja, boasts what may be the most futuristic-looking structure Neom has to offer. Two contemporary steel buildings, rising to heights of 225 and 275 meters, will be the focal point of this new project. This is the Epicon Hotel, a five-star luxury hotel that resembles a brilliant mirage in the middle of the desert, according to its architects. There will be several enormous enormous cantilevers that protrude far from the main buildings. It seemed as though they were resisting gravity. There will also be a property with a similar design called the Epicon Resort, a short distance to the coast. It will feature 45 opulent villas and its own private beach club. Essentially, there are two buildings in an isolated location. The way they promote this area as a potential long-term home, as well as a tourist attraction, is quite strange. It's rather hard to imagine that people would genuinely want to relocate to an area that just had a resort and a hotel. Furthermore, there has been no indication of any plans to develop a district or anything else around it, even if it's simply an early concept. Serrano, we then head 20 minutes south from Epicon. This is the location of Serrano. Like Leja, Serrano will have an opulent hotel with mountains encircling it from all directions. These landscape-blending hexagonal colors are the main element of the design. Among the noteworthy features are a beach club, fitness center, and even private apartments. These recent initiatives have targeted a somewhat similar audience so far. Utamo, only 5 kilometers north of Leja, is Utamo, which will serve as Neom's entertainment hub. The creators say that the venue's entrance will be the most intriguing aspect of this area, a lengthy winding pathway with more than 50 varieties of native plants and flowers has been painstakingly manicured to welcome people arriving from the seaside. This route will stop at an enormous 64-meter tall door leading to the venue itself. It looks like it would take a while to walk up there. You can attend a range of activities including plays, concerts, and art exhibits here at the venue. They claim that the facility will also have advanced audiovisual systems 
platforms that will improve the watching experience, though specifics are still unknown. Up to 2,600 people can be seated at once in the event space overall. Because Utamo is located in a somewhat remote place, it would likely be challenging to fill the modest number of seats. How then does Neon plan to occupy this space? It mostly relies on whether the entire Neon concept succeeds. As Leija, Sirana and Epicon are within its reach, and the line is around an hour's drive away. Nurlana In reference to the other areas, this is the entire seaside town of Nurlana. The location hasn't been disclosed yet, and it was just announced recently. However, it will be constructed someplace near the Gulf of Aqaba on the shore. The goal of Nurlana is to establish itself as a legitimate town unto itself, which sets it apart from the rest. Approximately 3,000 people might might live there, distributed among 700 residential buildings. The 120 berth marina that will be the center of the community is a significant component of Nirlana. An 18-hole golf course, a polo and horse club, and areas where several water activities will all be located nearby. This raises the question of who would genuinely wish to relocate to Nirlana though. It appears that this resort caters only to the wealthy elite, considering the abundance of yachting and water-related services it offers. Aquilum Up next is something quite special. This is Aquilum, or an upside-down skyscraper as its developers put it. However, the upside-down aspect is probably not what you initially believe it to be. Aquilum will be constructed inside a mountain, as opposed to being literally constructed from the top down. The skyscraper's centerpiece will be a 100-meter tall hole that rises from the water below to the building's roof. This is the only portion that is visible from the outside. However, what precisely is this building meant to be? Based on their official press release, Aqualum appears to be a mashup of all things Neom, all crammed into one enormous structure, with opulent residences and hotels, upscale stores and eateries, a location for immersive art and entertainment, futuristic-looking interior design, and even what they're referring to as the world's first floating marina. To top it all off, they are literally building these inside of a mountain. From a marketing standpoint, it appears that there is a reason for this madness. The whole purpose of Aquilum and, to be honest, the rest of Neom as well, is to be something special and captivating enough to attract attention from all over the world. Zardun Zardun is a private haven by the Gulf of Aqaba, including three distinctive luxury boutique hotels. Else. And you're technically right if you think Leja sounds a lot like this. Zardun is essentially the same as Leja, only it will be situated inside a protected wildlife sanctuary rather than deep within the mountains. The Tower, Wedge, and Nature Hotels are the names of its three hotels. The conservation of wildlife and the reintroduction of native species, such as the Arabian Oryx, Western Osprey, and Nubian Ibex, which have all long since been driven out of the area will be the primary goals of Zardun. Zaynor Finally, they unveiled Zaynor as a private members club with a seaside exclusivity. On top of a natural oasis near the Gulf of Aqaba will be the point of construction. In terms of scope and ambition, this project is rather modest in comparison to all the others in Neom. The beach club itself will serve as the focal point of this area, a building that is is intended to organically merge with its surroundings. There will be different private pools, lounges, restaurants, and a spa and wellness center on the opposite side by the coast. What are your thoughts on these latest Neom additions? Do you believe that there will be a sufficient need for these locations? Tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. See you in the next video.